Elon Musk, the owner of Twitter, SpaceX, Tesla, and of course the on again, off again, richest man on the planet found himself in a bit of hot water last week when he shared a deep fake video allegedly of vice president Kamala Harris announcing that she had to take over as the nominee because of course, president Biden just mentally couldn't hack it. Elon Musk shared this video on Twitter to tens of millions of people on the platform that he owns without any community notes, letting them know that this was a deep fake, that it was artificial intelligence, uh, generating her voice. And here is what the voice in the video said. I Kamala Harris am your Democrat candidate for president, uh, because Joe Biden finally exposed, exposed his senility at the debate. Uh, the video then goes on to claim that Harris is a diversity hire because she's a woman and a person of color. And it says she doesn't know the first thing about running the country. The video retains Harris for president branding. It also adds in some authentic past clips of Harris. Folks on Twitter were very quick to point out to Elon Musk that sharing a deceptive campaign video, alleging that it came from the actual candidate which is what he did because he kept the branding on it. I don't think he created, it. I don't think he's that clever, but he shared it and doing so uh, in a lot of States across the country is in fact illegal. And that is exactly what California governor Gavin Newsom pointed out when he said manipulating a voice in an ad like this one should be illegal. And I'll be signing a bill in a matter of weeks to make sure it is. So in California where Musk is currently based, although he is moving to Texas, it's not yet illegal, but Gavin Newsom says, don't worry, I'm going to fix that. And in response to the governor of California saying, we're going to make things like this illegal, Elon Musk in true middle school fashion responded to the governor of California by saying, quote, I checked with renowned word, uh, world authority, professor Sug on these nuts. And he said, parody is legal in America. So in response to the governor of California telling him, Hey, pretty soon what you just did is going to be a crime. And in again, some States it already is a crime. Elon Musk made a D's nuts joke. I got to tell you, I, I have a son who is in high school. He's about to turn 15 uh, in about two weeks, even for him at 15 years old, these nuts jokes are beneath him. But here you have Elon Musk again, on again, off again, richest man on the planet who apparently is also the most immature middle-aged man on the planet. And you claim Musk that this is parody, but you never said it was parody. There's nothing on there that would suggest it was parody. This was a manipulated video made to look real that you put out because you want to damage Harris because you're a Trump guy. I get it. You've endorsed Donald Trump. You're going to give money every single month to his America pack, not directly to him, of course, because you said, no, I'm not giving money to him. I'm giving it to this political action committee that gives him money. So yeah, semantics, but you're giving him money. Um, and now this is your response. You're sharing deep fake videos on the platform that you own. And your response when getting called out is to make a testicle joke because you are in fact a child. Oh, and speaking of children, uh, Musk also came out recently and falsely, of course, claimed that Kamala Harris is an extinctionist. Musk said, quote, Shamala, <laughs> get it? Because it's like Kamala, but it's a sham. Shamala is an extinctionist. The natural extension of her philosophy would be a de facto Holocaust for all of humanity. That doesn't even make any sense. Like, I don't even know what to make of that because it's so incredibly stupid. Like Kamala Harris has never called for, Hey, everybody stop having kids. Let's let the planet, uh, let's let human beings die off the planet. Like that's never a thing that's happened. But Musk is a guy who of course is in favor of people going out and having lots of kids, even though he has nothing to do with his own kids. He admitted last week that one of them is dead to him. Um, but he thinks that the human race is somehow headed for extinction, even though the population is actually growing. So not a guy that likes to deal with facts. That's for sure. Not a guy that likes to deal with reality. 
Um, I, I would suggest Mr. Musk, please hurry up and build your rocket to Mars and go ahead and colonize that place. So you can get the hell off this planet because the only people who look up to you are the people who have the mentality of an eighth grade boy that has yet to go through puberty. They're the only ones that find you funny. They're the only ones that think you're a smart guy. The rest of us are really just ready for you to hop on that rocket and get the hell off this planet for good. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.